here, I run every day. Literally my day starts not with the alarm from my phone, the alarm from the chicken. Right. You get eggs, fresh eggs, only eating my eggs. In the US, you make more money, yeah. But you're working to maintain that standard of living. And it doesn't stop. Cause then you want a little bit more. Then you want this, then you want that, then you want this. And it never stops. You know how corporate is, right? You know you're gonna be working 10, 12 hours a day. I'd rather make less than corporate but have more freedom work to live life. Don't work to live, which is what the US culture is. You're like this all day. I was in the US a month ago. I couldn't do anything. It was too cold, because it's cold. You don't want to go out, you want to do this. You want to... In the US, I was paying 100 a month for, for health insurance. I'm eating better. I'm working out more. I need the health less. US, I really need it. Dating this one girl right now. She's 24, 30, first day. She's like, oh, aren't you going to tell my mom and my dad? My, your mom and your dad, what, what do you want me to tell them? I want you to tell them that we're going to go out and then I'm going to go out with you. First out, all right, man, we out here with my boy Manny, fresh out in DR, you know what I'm saying? We haven't seen the kid for like, how long ago was that? A couple months ago. A couple right? months, a couple, couple months, months for ago. sure. So my man had me in Santiago, we was going crazy up there, you know, he sent me to the rooster fight and all that, yeah. man. Had me in the trenches, but my man is back, so I had to get him back because he broke some big news to me. Um, right after I left, I, he told me like, yo, he's he's moving, he's he making a big move to DR. You know his family is from here, so he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay my head here and, and do it like that." Did Did you ever go back to the U.S. or you just stayed here, like when I left? So, um, good question, man. I stayed. You just man. stayed, right? Yeah, yeah, man. You know, you gotta weigh out your options when you think about where you want to go, different places around the country, what what's gonna be right for you. And at the end of the day, for me, DR was right for me. You know, I, I t in a quick story is that I was actually made here. Mm -hmm. Like my mom, my dad. You know what I'm saying? They were together here. They had my, you know, my dad they put in work. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go. You know, I even asked my dad. I said, "Yo, pops, yo, that night that you made me, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what'd you have? You know what I'm saying?" He said, "Yo, I had yuca, yuca con mango. You know what I'm saying? And a presidente." He said he had, he had a couple presidentes. So, so basically, I'm Dominican as DNA you can get. But uh, my mom uh, went pregnant to the U.S. and then I was born. Uh, and, and fun fact, I was born with a cleft lip meaning I had all these five surgeries right. when I had uh, when I was born. And so, you know, I think God had it that way that I was going to be born over there and get the, the surgeries and all that over there instead of over here. And then later on in life, allow me to find out who I was again coming back here as an right. adult. So it's kind of all full circle when I come to think about it. Right, full circle story. And so boom, so you so you just you got here, you like the vibes. I know we had a good time and he was like, yo, I'm a I'm gonna stay. So what what made you, what motivated you to take that leap in? I know, cause you know what I'm saying? We talk a lot about this. So I know you lived several other places as a digital nomad before, but what made you actually, it could be in regards to DR or any other place, that first place you move, I think maybe it was Colombia or Mexico, any other place that you move, and I'm just, I'm gonna give you a warning right now, bro. They're gonna say, I, I cut you off. That's what they do in my comments, bro. <laughs> they, they kill me about cutting you uh -huh. off, but I'm gonna just chime in and just say, I know, you know what I'm saying? You know how we met. We met like had to be like ten years ago. Now I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell yeah, them the story. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? The story. Okay, tell them real quick. It was 2012. Yep. We're 2000 and, and, and 23 right now. 22, 22, 22, 23. 22. So <laughs> a, a solid. That was 2012. So 10, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Um, 10 years ago we did an internship together yep. at Wall Street, and it was. Yep. And it, you know, it was a small group. Yeah. Of, 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 of this little internship group and that's how we met. We started rocking and it was like, yo, you like me? I'm like yeah, you, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's Boom. safe to say it wasn't much representation from, you know what I'm saying? Not much representation, you know. Like the brown community, so, you know. you know what I'm saying? We stuck together and we had to grind that out. But yo. It, it all comes back to this idea, the U.S., you in that, like I was saying, that concrete jungle every day, 10 hours of work, getting home, kind of slaving. I don't want to use that word particularly, but just that, that non-stop hamster wheel. So did that contribute? Was that like one of the motivating factors? Yeah, so after we did our internship, I ended up, you know, later on working in corporate. You know how corporate is, right? Here's the thing, you go as entry level. Yep. You know you're going to be working 10, 12 hours a day Jesus. to try to like, you know, tell your boss that, you know, what you're doing and, and, and just trying to, you know, Give them that, that first look that you know you you came to work and all this right. All right, cool. First two years you're a little excited about yeah. lot, but then after a while you're like, all right, what's yeah, the real what's really the real cool. here? Yeah. So I did about five years of a slave, and then I started figuring out ways online how to make money. Right. So it wasn't easy for sure. 
But once you do, then you, you create this kind of whole new level of freedom. Right, yeah. And that's kind of like what, what I like to focus on is the freedom. I'd rather make less than corporate, but have more freedom. Right. I get to travel and do whatever I want. I mean, this year, this year and a half, I lived in three different countries. Something I always wanted to do in my whole life. That was one of my goals that I, you know, that I uh, had put. I said I wanted to live in three different countries in one year. So this year I lived in Mexico, then um, in Puerto Rico, oh, and, yeah. and now Dominican Republic. But in between, you know, I traveled other places too, like Guadalajara, um, Guatemala. I, I, I lived in LA for a little bit too, you know. But those are the three places out of the country, basically that I felt like, all right, I accomplished that goal that I wanted. And so here's the kicker, right? Why did I choose Dominican Republic? Well, first of all, I'm gonna give you guys a fun fact that I, I don't even think I've heard anybody tell me this before. So truth be told, four, all four of my grandparents, four, really think about that. All four of my grandparents are, are buried in the same cemetery wow. in this little village in Dominican Republic. It's called Villa Gonzalez. That's, that's where I'm living now. And so when I went, to go see my grandparents, I was like, wow, this, my DNA is fully, fully loaded right here. Like, both sides of my family, That's like, kind of live across from each other, and they're, whole, they're all different. So there's so many people in this village that know my family. In turn, they know, they think they know me, you know, they're like, oh, I know you, you know, but they're, you know. But, um, so that, for me, was a whole lot different. It's a whole different experience here. Um, I'm basically more in tune with culture, in tune with family, in tune, like I, what I mean by family is that before this, I in, in Puerto Rico, I was living, I had no family, no nothing, I was eating every day out, you know, and just kind of, you know, making it through. I don't think I've ever even cooked anything right, here right, since I've been yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Because family is like, yo, come here, yeah. cook, I gotta play. I'm gonna put that, my bad. Yeah. I'm gonna put, put those pictures in, because you know you be putting up that siesta food. Yeah, all day. You gotta show them all the day. siesta food, y'all going, yo, when I say the aunt, she cook for me, she don't, she don't play. She get down in that get down. She get down. And just to, just to kind of chime in, and so boom. So we got the job. So I'm just list some of the aspects. So we got that work life that just grinded out work life that nobody really want to deal with. You know, that was a factor. And then you spoke about family and community feel. And I can speak on that firsthand. You know, when you brought me to, to uh, your, your town, bro, all love, bro. Anybody who know you, they yeah. took me in like I was yeah. their son, you know, their brother, their cousin, you know what I'm saying? So I can speak on those two different things. And I actually, I, I just did a video about when I was living in Via Mia, like I was telling you, um, it was the same thing. You're going to get that community feel. So just two things uh, that I could just think of that, like just a highlight from what you were saying. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no doubt. That's basically it. So basically a lot of family things for me here. So yeah. uh, another thing that's kind of surprising is that at 12, um, where I'm from, is Siesta. Yeah. So everything closes from 12 to 2. So you, ge you generally what happens is everybody eats at 12, mm. all the way to like 1-ish, and then they sleep. That's the whole point of the siesta. Right. You sleep yeah, for like yeah, 45 yeah. minutes, 50 minutes, and then you go back to work at 2. Right, so I just that, that so, like, not every life isn't, it, it's not just working yeah. to live. Like, nah, 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 nah. This is life. Like, you live life. life. Right. You work to live life. Yeah, you don't work exactly. to live, which is what the U.S. Exactly. culture is. In the U.S., you make more money, yeah, but... And you probably have a better standard of living, but but you're working to cr yeah. to maintain that standard of living, and it doesn't stop, because then you want a little bit more, and you want this, then you want that, then you want this, then you want, then it never stops. So in reality, you know. You're already kind of speaking on it, but if you could just touch on the the, the nature aspect of everything, I know you got your your roots to yourself uh, now, and you you know feeding them and raising them. Yeah. So how like how is like that nature and the sun and all of the other stuff affected your health? Cause you know, we talked about the health system in America yeah. before. So how is that the food here being more organic? You was telling me about the tobacco being naturally grown. Yeah. Like how you have you seen any improvements in your health? Like So yeah, I mean huge, huge improvements. <laughs> I mean ridiculous, right? So Basically, here I run three three kilometers a day. Wow. It's like I don't know, two and a half miles or something. Nothing yeah. crazy, but it's every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like in the U.S., because it's cold, you don't want to go out. You want to do this. You want to do that. Great. Nothing. You know, here I run every day. I was doing fasting. I was really even with all the colds and all the food. It, it it was just so much easier. I was in the U.S. a month ago just to visit my my mom and dad, and I couldn't do anything. It was too cold. I wake up. Now I got to think about how to get warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Here, literally my day starts not with the alarm from my phone, but the alarm from the chicken. Right, yes. I get woken up every day at 7.30 right. from my chickens. Like I'm right next to the window, they're 
<laughs> and and I'm not I'm not talking about roosters. I don't have a rooster. Yeah. Right? We could talk about chickens all day because I like chickens, you know. <laughs> but I don't have roosters, I just have chickens. But they still at seven, as soon as that light comes up, they're ready. They are hungry and they're letting you know they're hungry. Right, yeah. But I like it, you know what I'm saying? So I like my chickens, I get eggs, fresh eggs. I haven't actually eaten uh an American egg since I've gotten here. I've only eaten my eggs. And that's crazy, because you actually show me, and you, you gotta send me a picture so I can yeah. put it in the video. You actually show going and scooping the egg up after it was already, like, just been hot. Out. <laughs> hot off the press. Hot yeah. off the press. And then you go cook it up, so you yeah. go throw that in there. Just before yeah. I forget, there's two things you touched on, like that cold, bro. I was just in New York, man. I wanted to leave after that first Don't day, because Don't do that it. cold, it's such yeah. your energy out, everything, bro. Everything. It's such your energy out. You just want to get caught. You forget your name. You, you forget, forget everything. Yeah, you don't yeah. know what you are. And then another good thing you touched on was the running part. Yeah. Because in the U.S., most jobs, like at least like those high level yeah. jobs, are uh, uh, what, how you say, sanit sanitary? Like yeah. you're sitting down all day. All day. So I hate personally. Yeah. I hate that. Like you're sitting down from not eating. You're like this all day. You the hunch. Oh man, then this grows. You right. can't do nothing about it because after you get out of work, you ain't trying to go to the gym. You don't want to do nothing. Go. You don't yeah, want to do nothing. And that's one of the reasons I moved to Florida because now, after work in New York, I'm running home. I just want to be in my bed. I want to yeah. be somewhere warm. But now in Florida, where it's warm, I'm running to the gym. Like, it probably yeah. see the boy got a little. Yeah, a little sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like to brag, yeah. it, but I've been, you know, working out or whatever. But let's touch on something. I know that the, the fellas want to hear. You know, if you're a female, you can stick around. But. We gonna just touch on this real quick, cause when, when, when a lot of guys think of DR, they think of beautiful culture, beef, like great food, but they also think about you know the dating scene and like I guess they think like yo, you know, can can you get can they get a girl? Like how has your experience yeah. been dating? So I, I'm gonna keep it a hundred percent real, right? Can I do that? Can I do yeah, it for them? Keep it a hundred real. A hundred, so a hundred real, right? So this is how it works, right? Because I'm in a small village. Right. This is not that big, right? So once I got there, my aunt, right. She loves a kid, but they bought that culture. Right. So she was like, yo, you're 30 and you're not married. Yeah. You're not, are you, you, the side you, you know, you're playing different sides of the role. Or the I said, nah, 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 <laughs> it, it, no disrespect or nothing, but it's just, you know what I'm saying? That's not, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like, nah, it's not even that. It's just, you know, in the US, we don't really like get, so I have a cousin, her son, right. he's 30 and he has two kids and a wife. This is what I'm talking about. So my aunt was already trying to set me up with girls from the village that are, you know, from the house, the, the casa, that's how they call it. Right. You know what I mean? And that they, they're good, good girls, which hard to find in the U.S. If you really think about it, right, to always. find yourself a nice girl, a home, a home cooked nice girl, oh, you know, that she just wants to have somebody, you know what I mean, that can, right. that can respect her and be there. But you don't got to, like, you don't got to do nothing crazy. You just got to be there. You know what I'm saying? And show love. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. I've been dating this one girl right now. Right. First day, she's 24. Right. I'm 30. First day. First day, yeah. I, we go out. Just before picking her up to, to take her out, she's like, oh, aren't you going to tell my mom and my dad? Right. Yeah. My, your mom and your dad? What, what do you want me to tell them? Yeah. No, I want you to tell them that we're going to go out and then I'm going to go out with you. Right. Yeah, mom and dad, she's like, yeah, that's how we do it here. First hour. What? First hour me and <laughs> Bro, I go in there, I'm like, hi, mom. Woo, woo, woo. Her dad is right there, you know, and I got to, oh, how you doing? Como esta? You know, yeah. woo yeah. You know, but it, that's the difference, though. In the U.S., you're not going to meet the girl's mom or dad until later on in the later. picture. Later, 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 later on. <laughs> so now think about, think about the dynamics of this. She met me, she showed me her mom and dad. Right. Do you think that she's gonna try to play games right. or, or do anything funny or Great. or try to like talk to you while she's talking to three dudes on the side and this Great. it's not gonna happen that way so so that's the, the situation the mindset is more low. the mindset is different not, not only that i get good morning texts every day every day every day, every day. i get a good morning text every, every day. day i get a good night text every night every night and, guys we're not even dating. We're not even boyfriend and girlfriend. We just we just been going on a few it's, times. It's that respect factor it's, that it's, they have, yes. and that that you know, like you're the one that they're focusing on. And that that's and, the difference. And if I could just chime in, I don't want to throw this on all Americans. Everybody's different, but just I'm just going to generalize. It's on YouTube, guys, I gotta generalize. On a general scale, there's a lot of people. I'm not going to say females, but people in the U.S. that are entertaining multiple people. So it's hard to send to all people a good morning text. So. That definitely plays into it. And I just want to speak on one thing you said, because I think when a lot of guys think about dating in DR, they think they're going to come out here and run rampant. 
but like you said, like when you got to to your village, your aunt was already on you. Like, what what we doing here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just not sure. to play for double. Sure. I, I don't like playing double mm. standards. So that was a good point you brought up. That there are many Dominican men in real real marriages, relationships. So on both ends, it's a more traditional culture. Just not yeah. the females. I think only guys think, oh, I'm gonna come to DR, and oh. all the guys are just. Uh, you, say? Mujeriego. Mujeriego, yeah, yeah, um, um, that you just talk to mad girl at the same exactly. time. Everybody is not on that time. So that, so I, I, so I gave you guys my perspective of what's going on in the dating scene. Right. But I'm not gonna leave out other stuff. Right. I'm gonna give you guys all the good stuff, right? <laughs> so the truth is, is that DR is probably sex capital. It's, one, it's like everybody has sex, here, right? You get down, you get down. You know what I'm saying? So. There are spots, there are places, there are beaches, there are this, that, 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 that is catered to just to, 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 to right. having a one night type of situation, you know? So, but you got to know where you're at. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you know you're going to those spots, you know what that is. But if, if, if you're in the village or you're doing city life, you know what that comes with, with the shorty. So, so an example, the shorty I'm talking about, the girl, we went out on a date, blah, 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 show me your parents, blah, blah, blah. I ain't get to get a kiss until wow. two weeks. Wow. They won't believe that. <laughs> two weeks. It's different. That's wild. It's different. I would never do that in the U.S. Right. You get it. After a date or two, you ain't rocking with me. Right. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. in this situation, you got to kind of think about it. Like, oh, why, why this, that, and the third? And she had told me, she's like, no, it's just, I, you know, because I, you sh I showed you my parents, this, that, and the third, right. you know, we... I have to do it the right way. I, I, right. I, you know. So mind you, if it took me two weeks to get a kiss, you know, the other stuff could take me months. <laughs> but at the same time, what kind of what kind of girl you think I'm getting? Right. Exactly. At the end of the day, you know, I, I'm getting a good ass girl, girl that that is not in the. She's not in the streets. Right. She's not out there. She's not talking to no one else. Right. Because here's the thing: you might not, you're not really getting, or you might get it, but the pressure for the girl is more than the pressure for the right, guy right. because it's a village and the family knows. Right. So, what does it look like if she's talking to two dudes yeah. plus you? Yeah. So, you're gonna, they're gonna be like, you know, and and, uh, and like that, that because it's a village, everybody talks, everybody. right? So, so it's not, it's, it, for a girl, is is she is on her toes to like right. make sure her, her, her image Stays clean. It stays clean. It stays so here is about the less bodies you have. Right, 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 right. In the U.S., it's kind of like a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like, like about that. you know, they don't. Actually, in bigger cities, like you were girl. saying, in New York, you go to another part of New York, nobody know your history, yeah. so you good. But we can say many people in these villages, yeah. they kind of see in their whole life through this place, and you know, they want to keep their image clean. Yeah. So everybody knows. Huge. And your reputation matters. It's and huge. Your reputation falls upon your your. Your, your family, name, your family, everybody, name. uncle, every, everybody. So you gotta yeah. keep that clean. So yeah, we getting, we getting a little. So more I'm just trying to give you guys the real yeah. juice, you know. I know a lot of people can yeah. say a lot of things, yeah, yeah. but uh, I'm really coming from you because yeah. you, you, your feet is on the ground. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, like <laughs> out here, you know. And you got like three months to living, three, four months living out here. This morning? since July. Since July, damn. So since July, got about five, six months. Something like that. It's up yeah. there, you know. Yeah. So, uh, here's a here's a fun fact. We could probably blur out the numbers later on. Yeah. But uh, while I've been here, uh, I'll cover myself a little. I, you know, I, I ended up getting my uh, my citizenship which is, here. Which is heavy, which is So basically, I can live as long as I want. Not only that, but here's another thing you might not even know. I got my health insurance card here. Oh, I didn't so, even tell me that. Yeah, so, so in the U.S., I was paying right every other week uh, 200 off the check, right? They, they take it off. So it's four hundred a month for mm -hmm. for health insurance, three to three to four hundred. But you're getting good taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After. Tax. So here, I pay eighty. Wow. You know, uh, I paid two two thousand eight hundred bucks, like sixty bucks actually, 60 and um, and so basically, I'm good to go. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, my my cousin actually sells insurance, right. so I, I mean health insurance, sixty seventy bucks. Can't beat that. Come on, yeah. and I've used it. Yeah. This yeah. isn't something I haven't used. Right, exactly. I'll be honest, you pay twenty percent copay, my joint. Right. You know, so it's not like the top of the top, but right. it's. But I'm a young dude, right? So, and I can get other coverage that covers that 20% right. for like another 40 bucks. So we're talking about 100 bucks for full, 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 full ass coverage. Right, exactly. So that's one thing about health. I was like, all right, let me get my health okay, right. Better. But at the same time, I'm eating better. Exactly. I'm working out more. Exactly. So I'm, I need, it's like, I need the health less. 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 Where in the U.S., yeah. I really need it. Yeah, of course. You know? Because you sit in 10 hours, you eat in modified food, 
you uh you stressed out from your work fucking work at 10 11 hours most people are in a place with no sun yeah, yeah. probably live in the middle of america or oh, yeah. the northeast so you're in a fucking darkness most of the year so all of this shit is just compounding and, and messing up your health but um we, we closing on 20 minutes so we're just going to do one quick question um uh, because i know a lot of people wondering a lot of people out there thinking manny like yo i want to I want to do what Manny's doing, man. This dude is living a life, man. He's living in a different country, and I've been working on trying to move for a long time. So tell him how are you kind of sustaining yourself. Wow. Um, I know you do a lot of real estate stuff mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, internet things. So if you could just touch on some of the stuff you do, I think real estate in a digital mm -hmm. nomad space that's working. So I I'll tell you guys real quick how I, how I was able to do it. Um, I had decided in, uh, about four or five years ago that I wanted to do this life. I wanted to go out and, 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 and live in different countries. So I ended up buying a multifamily house uh, back when I was working. And I rented out the, you know, I lived on the third, rented out the first and the second. When I made my great escape, quit corporate and decided to bounce, I rented up the top. So that gave me a stability base, at least to be like, I, I can always like live somewhere. I'm not gonna live like rich or nothing, but I, I live somewhere. And then the other step, the other component was that I needed to create an online business. Right. Now you go on YouTube, you write in an online business, a million things will come up. Right. You literally have to figure out what, what is it that you like and how you can incorporate that into online. See, Troy here loves to travel. So right. he incorporates his stuff online here so so later on he can add consultations people are asking him questions he can charge for you know little things like that i think people don't think that you can actually make a living online right. and then grow it online because right, exactly. at the end of the day if you want to live with freedom if you want to live the life you want to live you got to create your own income your own income because if you rely on somebody else giving you the money then you're tied to that and you can make it, you could travel all the time like that, and it's cool, but if you wanna live in a place right. and do that, you gotta learn how to do, get some money online. Right. Get some money online, and, and, and I wouldn't like, let's say you found a business, oh, I love it, like, do it for six months. Right. Make sure it's stable, you're like, all right, this, I could work with this. And then make the move. Right. Make the fucking move. Yeah. Like, don't be scared. Don't you know how scared I was when I first bounced? Right. Everybody back home was like, oh, why you, why you move? My parents, wow, 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 we're just down the third, blah, blah, blah. They don't, nobody has the same goal that you have. Remember, it's one life. No, yeah. One life. life to live. Guys, so like every time I, I have a crazy situation, I think to myself, like, yo, if I die today or if I, right. if my eyes shut down today, am I going to be happy with the life I've been living? And yep. right now, it's always been yes. Yep, yep. That's so right. like, I die today. I'll be like, yo, I, I, I fucking did what I wanted to do. Right. And I got to travel, I got to, I got to see things, I got to do the things that you want to do. So anything is possible. You just have to put your mind to it. It actually reminds me of a 50 cent lyric that I always be thinking about. <laughs> uh, he's like, if I die today, I'm happy how my life turned out. Something yeah. like that. It's like, just thinking about that. But we're going to leave it here, man, because they, they, they play the music. They get a little more aggressive with the <laughs> music over there. So we don't want to mess up the, the video. But look, Manny, thank you for coming, man. No doubt, no doubt. No doubt. Love. Um, I'm sure this interview is going to help a bunch of people. We touch on some good topics. So we go on anything you want to say to the people before we get out of here. Yeah, if you want to contact me, you can go to my Instagram, Manny Motivation. Check it out there. I do a lot of things for the kids and this and that. I told you guys I, was, I grew up with the cleft lip, so I do a lot of fundraisers and stuff for kids um, in that sense. And then um, if you guys need any help with um, trying to figure out how to start an online business or just any questions, man, yeah. hit me up on the DM, uh, Manny Motivation. And... Um, Right there, you, you could just, you'll you find know, me and... Right, you know what I just thought about? Actually, YouTube got like a donation feature, or chat, like yeah. you could do a donation, so we should actually dedicate this maybe to the, uh, like a Clef, Clef Lip Foundation, that would be dope. So, look out for that, uh -huh. guys. We gonna head out, we actually gonna buy the turn up tonight, so. Yeah, we turn up. We gonna hit y'all another up. time. Man. Guys, I came yeah. three hours to see Troy again, <laughs> again, <laughs> and then Troy went to go see me. And mind you, I was already in Sasua before. <laughs> Today, I, I was in Sasua in the morning. I got here, there, 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 bro. You got it. This is why you got to live life. This is why you got to live life. You and it doesn't live. cost much. For yeah, me exactly. to get from Sasua here, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I think that cost me five bucks. Five bucks. And, they, and, and a lot of people, a lot of my viewers always saying Sasua, so be on the lookout because so, we going there. Yeah, yeah, now we going there. Man, I told Troy we ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, it's fresh over Sasua. Every going to get an know. interview with me about that Sasua life. Yeah, Sasua life. All right, we got it, y'all.